click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, we'll be discussing the meaning and definition of average due date. The concept and the details will be explained here. Now what basically do you mean by average due date? Let us consider a situation whereby there is Mr. A and there is Mr. B who has to deal in a lot of payments that means receipt and payment for or any transaction which refers between them. This is only between two people where there are numerous transactions happening over a specified period. Now, whenever a payment happens or whenever it is a payment that you're supposed to make, there's an interest that will be charged. Sometimes it may not be, sometimes it may be. But when there is a situation where there are interest that is getting charged, so during that situation, it is a little tedious work to note down the total interest or rather the interest for every individual transaction because every individual transaction would have been done on a different date and from that date until the payment date the calculation for the interest is a little tedious job so what happens or what happens whenever such situations arises so the businesses have developed this idea of average due date so that they can accumulate all the payments all the receipts together and accordingly one single interest will be charged on all the payments that means it is a concept of single debt all the debts are accumulated together the interest is calculated and the interest is calculated on the basis of the average due date that means all the payments will be made on one single day and everything will be cleared off this is how the average due date concept came into existence now let's jot down certain points for your reference so that we can understand what basically the situation is and how we are going to deal with it now we have jotted down certain points here let's read it out for your reference this refers to the users of average due date or rather where this average due date concept can be used there are three more or rather we can talk about three various methods that has been mentioned down here let's read it out the first use of average due date is where you have to calculate the interest or drawings rather when we have drawings or rather we have capital that is invested into the business the interest that is supposed to be given both on the capital or rather on the drawing which has to be charged will be used by using this specific concept the interest on the amount that is lent in various installments let me note it down for you various installments and the interest on the amount which is lent in only one installment so these are basically the short term and long term loans so there may be a short term loan which you might have taken for a month for that specific timing is the interest that you have to calculate there is one specific loan which you might have taken for like six months that means equated monthly installments going out for every month for the next six months so when you have to calculate the interest on these concepts or rather these methods you can use average due date concept apart from that there are certain more things that we'll be discussing about average due date concept can be also used between agents and partners so if there is an agent there is a partner if they have to settle their accounts between them they can use average due date concept by settling up the whole amount due on one single day and the interest will be calculated on that day itself now this will be used by using average concept or average due date concept the next topic that we have to discuss is the contra account selling that means partners who sell goods between each other or rather the first situation that we spoke about where there is one party and there is second party and the goods are being sold and purchased between these two parties itself but there are numerous transactions so that situation is basically called as contra account settlement so whenever such situation arises you can use average due date concept to get it resolved the third phase that can be used or that can be utilized further to make sure that average unit concept is used here is when you have to make a lump sum payment imagine if your number of debts and if you're making a single consolidation of all those debts and making the payment on one specific day now calculation of that one specific day itself is known as average due date so according to that payment or according to that single debt where you have to clear off all your bills all your liabilities on that specific day you can use average due date concept 
concept now let's understand there are a few more things that we have to talk about this concept post which will mark the closure of it but before that let's understand few more details about how to basically calculate the maturity of bill or rather we can talk about the due date calculation let's get it on so the next concept that we'll be understanding is how to calculate the due date not basically the average due date but the due date so the first thing that we have to understand is calculation of due date i'll draw a flow chart for you here through which you can understand how basically this thing is done so the calculation of due date has this specific flow chart now imagine if you have a bill or an invoice which is payable now this payable will have two basic situations first which is on being of a specific date that means that invoice or bill is payable on a specific date second situation will be where that invoice or bill is payable after a certain period of time that may be after x number of days or that may be after x number of months maybe three months or maybe after 90 days or maybe after 120 days 180 days and so on etc so these are the two situations you do not know the exact date but you know that it will be done after three months anytime after three months or anytime after four months this is when the situation is so one is certain one is uncertain now whenever a certain situation comes up the due date will be that specific date itself so if you have decided that you will be paying it off on 16th of august 2019 2020 etc that date will be your due date however in uncertain situation what you have to decide is what will be the exact due date now how that is decided let's consider you draw a bill on 1st of january 2019 and that bill is payable after three months that means from 1st of january three months will be jan first month feb second month april third month once these three months are done first of april should be your due date but that won't be the correct due date because whenever such uncertain bills are there you have to give a grace period of three days so basically if you add three more days to this that means second third and fourth so fourth of april will be the actual due date here so that will be the uncertain situation what we have to discuss so especially when there is an uncertain situation you need to decide the correct due date make sure we are not calculating the average due date right now this is just a calculation of due date so whenever you have an example of three months after this thing or three months after that thing calculate that three months and then add three days to it so that will give you the exact due date as per the situation now so this is what we have to discuss about when we have to discuss the concept of average due date here thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ekeda and keep subscribing to ekeda